Hello my people. I am coming to you today from my bedroom. Super messy. Um, because we're currently remodeling a 10 year old's room and all of her stuff is in here. So you can probably see the box spring. Um, behind that's like all of her clothes um, and everything. So I'm coming to you from a little different spot. Um, it's messy, whatever. Um, and because the family's downstairs doing some chores before we get started on her room again today. So um, I do have um, a topic that I want to talk about today. But first, fun things. Um, help me. I did something different with my hair today. I, I'm having trouble curling this bob. So I tried to focus more of the curls at the top to give it like some volume and then like straighter ends. But all of the bend is always right here so if you've got shorter hair and have some advice whew, I can't get it right so now that that's over with um I also feel like I will stick on my teeth because I never wear lipstick um so what I wanted to talk about today is um I get it sounds so stupid because it's so cliche um and I think that I might even mention that in the title of this video um, but what I wanted to talk about today is, um, finding joy. So a lot of you might know if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, are mentioned in some of my previous videos, um, that I struggle with fibromyalgia. So, um, you know, it's something that took me probably a couple of years to finally figure out, um, what was going on with my body. Um, and I'll do maybe a more in-depth video about that at some point, but I just don't got time today. Um, and it's not really what I wanted to talk about. So, you know, after I realized that that was the issue, um, ever since then, it's just been a daily struggle of the pain and the fatigue that comes along with that. Um, it almost feels like I have the flu um, if I do too much. Um, every muscle aches, my joint aches, I get headaches. I'm just exhausted. Um, you know, I found some things that do help. I spent a long time looking into different things that help fibromyalgia, supplements, lifestyle changes, foods, um, you know, all of that stuff. and. It was frustrating because, and it still is frustrating, um, until I kind of had this revelation that I've had this past week just in doing some reading and watching other videos. Um, because I feel like, you know, pain and sickness, it's something that obviously we want to avoid. It's to be avoided. Um, and if you get sick or you're in pain and there's something wrong with your body, then at least to me, um, cause I'm a very logical person and it was just kind of the way I was raised. You know, if you, if there's a problem, you figure out what the problem is, first of all, and then you figure out your game plan to solve the problem and then you carry out your game plan and then the problem solved. Um, so that's kind of what I've spent the past, gosh, I don't even know, five years, um, six years. I can't remember if it was, I think it was before Lucy was born, um, that I kind of discovered all this about myself. Um, but anyway, you know, I've been on that path of well, what can I do? Well, if I try this diet, you know, if I go gluten free, maybe that will help. And, and then I'll do like an elimination diet. Maybe, um, you know, have a dairy intolerance or, you know, if I work out or if I take this supplement or that supplement, or if I just limit my activity, um, cut out sugar, you know, going down the checklist of all those things that are supposed to help with chronic pain and chronic fatigue, and then still having quite often those days where my whole body just hurts. And especially if I were to go out and do something fun, um, you know, if I stay up too late, if I spend the whole day at the mall shopping, which is something that I so love to do, um, I love fashion. I love going, especially at this time of year when, you know, a new season is coming and all I want to do is just go to the stores and get inspired and get ideas. Um, at the house, you know, I just, there's so many things I want to do to make it 
beautiful and you know we're, we're barely started on our master bedroom and, and I was having panic attacks this week because I knew we were starting on Lily's bedroom and thinking well great I'm gonna spend all day Saturday working on our room and then the next day today I'm gonna wake up and feel terrible and tired and sore and not be able to do anything and it's just gonna be you know another project that doesn't get done because I can't finish it um, so really getting discouraged in the fact that I can't seem to find the right thing to fix it. Um, so something I've just come to realize, like I said, through watching some videos about chronic pain and a lot of reading and just a lot of thinking and journaling and not really journaling, I don't journal. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I need journaling, not journaling, kind of making lists about just thoughts in my head and and even what I wanted to talk about this weekend for the video, that not everything can be fixed. And it seems so simple, um, but when that's so ingrained in your head that if you just have a plan, you know, you tackle the problem logically, then you should be able to fix it. And sometimes you just can't. And instead of being depressing to me or you know, being a downer, that almost was freeing to me that it it's here, you know, this fatigue, this pain that I might feel one day and not the other, it's here. Um, it used to, sorry, I ran out of memory. <laughs> and then I needed to fix my hair because it was being weird as I was watching it back to see where I left off. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, this pain is here and it's, even though it causes or used to cause and probably will still in the future cause fear of, you know, I'm getting sick or I'm not going to be able to make this go away. Um, it's not something that has to control my life. So that fear um, of that pain, I guess, becoming something worse or becoming something different than what it is, which is, you know, fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue that comes along with that. That's all that it is. And it's okay for me to just accept that it's here to stay and not in a depressing way, but that, you know, I have this pain, but through that, I can choose not to let it control my life. Yes, there will, there will be days when I need to rest. There will be days when I need extra sleep. There will still be times when I need to cancel plans and, and I can't do all the things that I normally would. Um, but, oh shoot. Okay, good. Um, sorry, we've got people coming to pick up some furniture today. I thought that was them. Um, there will be times when I still need to rest, but I can choose now knowing that I'm not in danger. You know, I'm not in danger of being sick. Um, I can choose to look through that pain and look for things that bring me joy and do things that bring me joy and know that even though you may have worked really hard and so now you're feeling um you know feeling the pain and the fatigue that comes after that um that you knew would come it's okay it's not gonna hurt you other than like the actual pain like the actual physical hurt um you know it's not gonna hurt you and it's different from what i envision my life being it's different from what I see other people do and so I think that has a lot to do with it too where I see people that can just go and go and go and go um and I want to be out there with them because you know I get my energy from being with other people um I'm kind of an introvert and in I don't like new people I don't like um you know meeting new people going out with new people I, I like my people um but within my group you know, my circle, I am an extroverted introvert, I guess I would say. I get my energy from being with my people. And my people are out there doing things every day. And 
it makes me sad when I can't do those things um, or when I feel like I can't do those things um, because it might make the pain worse or it might make the fatigue worse. Um, but I guess I've just started to come to that realization that I can choose to do those things. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt myself um, by choosing those things and by choosing to be a part of the world and be a part of my life and just understanding that this kind of sucky part is going to come along with that, but it's not going to hurt me. And, you know, what's going to hurt me more is hiding from life, trying to fix it by not moving <laughs> or, you know, spending all day on the couch or never planning anything because I'm afraid of the fatigue and the pain that will come after that. That's only going to cause me more hurt because it's, it's going to take away the joy that I find in life from being with my friends and being with my family and doing things that I love. Um, you know, going shopping, uh, going out to spend days, you know, with friends, go to brunch, go to yoga, do all those different things. And yeah, maybe I can only do one thing a day, whereas I have friends that will, you know, get up early and go for a run and then go to the mall and then meet friends for lunch and then go to yoga and then meet friends for dinner and then go to a concert. I can't do that, but I can do some things. Um, and I feel like really by choosing to not let that pain take my joy, I am choosing joy. So even though I'm sitting in this pain with this fatigue and with this problem, um, I can still choose to live my life. I still have, lim I have limitations, but I can choose to live my life and I can choose to do still do things that make me happy. Um, so I wanted to say too, I mean, you know, to all of my friends and family, I have committed for myself, you know, to make a better effort, to do better, to not hide from life, to not cancel plans if I, you know, really don't need to, to um, try to become more of an active participant in my life and my group and my circle and to choose happiness, to choose to be a participant um, in the things that make me happy. And that's really hard. Um, it seems like it should be easy and it's not um, because I think, like I said, of the fear that goes along with um, that kind of chronic pain, especially for me feeling like I have the flu, like it makes me feel like I'm physically ill and that kind of stirs up all my anxiety about sickness and all that stuff, um, which I still have to make a longer video about. But anyway, I'm gonna try to wrap it up. <laughs> that is just something that's been on my mind this week. Um, you know, being a logical person, like I said, it's, it's really hard to just say, I can't fix this. I have to live with it. But having to live with it doesn't mean that I have to be miserable. It doesn't mean that I am not allowed to be happy. It doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to share joy. It doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to leave my house and do things that I love. Um, so yeah, that's it, I guess, for this weekend. Um, I really want to try to do a more in-depth video about some of my health struggles and just kind of the story, I guess. I think it would help me to share and it would help a lot of people that I know kind of maybe understand more where I'm coming from. Um, but it's just been crazy. Like I said, there's going to be days when I still have limitations. I, I'm finding that balance between um, pushing myself out of my comfort zone, but not pushing myself so far that I can't get the things done that I need to get done. Um, so that's, that's still been a struggle for me. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram um, or Twitter, um, Facebook, it's Mod Mom Diaries everywhere. And I've been trying to get more active, kind of posting to my Insta stories and and um, using that, I guess, as a way to kind of re-enter the social world. <laughs> that makes me 
happy that I draw energy from and not like the social world as in social media, but just being attached to uh, the people that I know and the people that I love and sharing things that I love and all that good stuff. So, um, but yeah, again, I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I would be honored uh, if you subscribed so that you can uh, get notifications and, and come back and share more of this journey with me. And I will see you next time. Bye.